Uh, first off, uh, from your statement, what is the situation with the permits? And um, yeah, we we haven't had any or received any information concerning a permit or anyone applying for a permit at this time. We're monitoring that. We're working with uh, our city government. So if someone applies for a permit. Obviously, we'll review it, we'll look at the safety factors, and then we'll uh, go through the same process we do with everyone else. And as soon as I get that, I'll share that. Communication is a big part of this. Uh, what we see right now is so much miscommunication and speculation and rumors and innuendos on the internet uh, that we're inundated with, is this happening or this happening? And that happens, right? Because people are kind of fearful of the unknown. So what we do know is that we haven't received anything yet. We read stuff in the paper, we hear other things from other reporters or news stations, but nothing here in Lexington's come in formalized and said, yes, we'd like to come in and do a protest or a demonstration. As soon as I get that information and we receive it and it's confirmed, then I'll get that out to our community. Even though you don't know of anything yet, what would you say to, <clears throat> to people at home who are concerned about seeing what happened in Charlottesville happen in, you know, in, our, in our hometown here? Absolutely, you know, we look at Charlottesville, I've talked and spoken to people in Charlottesville and the incident command uh, people there. Uh, regrettably that happened. Two officers lost their life and another innocent victim lost her life in that demonstration so we're prepared for that. Uh, the one thing that I know, and we've done this in Lexington a lot, you all have been here for the last three years that we've seen a lot of demonstrations, peaceful demonstrations, protests. We do that a lot in Lexington because Lexington is encouraged with their First Amendment rights and speeches. So we'll work with the state police. We've I've been in contact with them. We've worked with Louisville Metro and uh, we'd rather have a lot more than a, not enough. So they have said, whatever resources we need, we'll come. Whatever you need, we'll be there. So we'll have our horses, we'll have other materials that we have on the streets, we'll have enough uh, people to take care of it, and we have a plan in place. So we have plans for either UK celebrations, riots, whatever it is, we have a plan, we practice it, and uh, we do a lot of training with it. And we do cross-training with them. So talk to them. We have our federal partners that we're working with and our intelligence community that's Kentucky Fusion Center, Secret Service, the FBI, uh, ATF. We're working with them also. Keep them involved so we all know what's going on. And the best part about it, it's a joint law enforcement exercise so it's not just Lexington because if it happens anywhere else in the state we'll all be able to respond and to help each other. So we'll know the organizations, we'll know the tactics, and we'll be able to respond to help. People who saw what happened in Charlottesville was unfortunate. We're going to plan for it here. We've talked to Charlottesville. We kind of know what to expect. We're looking at it. Uh, it's humans, right? And there's a lot of passion what's going on with this. So we expect a lot of people with tension and uh, passion about these conversations. Our number one thing is no one to get hurt. And if, if I had one bit of advice for everyone in Lexington and people that usually like to come out and show their First Amendment rights, do it somewhere else. Don't give this group the attention, if they come to town, that they want. They have, you know, embedded reporters with them, they're coming in town, they're trying to get people upset, they're trying to encourage the conflict. We've seen that, we've seen those tactics. We'll have some an event somewhere else if people want to do it and get the right message apart. And that's, and that's what we're hoping. And we have people in the community saying that right now. A lot of people that we work with you know, that go down to the uh, circuit court and to the plaza that have some rallies. We're working with them and they're saying, we don't want conflict, we want to do something else. You know, two people, two officers and a young lady lost their lives in Charlottesville. We all have a little bit of respect for them to not give, if this group decides to come to Lexington, the attention that they want. We ought to be talking about the victims and some of the survivors that were hurt and how we respect them versus giving this group the attention that they're trying to get. One tactic that I've heard has been used in other communities, especially for KKK marches, is that they actually hire their own opposition. Do you suspect that that's a tactic with this group? You know, I, I don't know if they do or not. I know they like conflict. I know they like the attention. The only way they get the attention is some of the message that they're trying to get out, and that does this, right? It brings media and everyone else wants to cover it. I hope no media covers it. I hope if they come into town, media goes over to another event that someone else is hosting and they don't cover this at all. So that's what we're hoping for. Uh, will it happen? Reality, we know it won't. So we'll be prepared for everything that we know right now. Thank you all. One last thing. You talk about all the agencies, you know, that you have been in contact with. Why is it so important that, you know, you're working together, you've already been in contact with them. Well, we, we know that 
We have had rallies here in Lexington. We know that Louisville's had them. State police had this group for a rally in Pikeville, so they know intimately some of the details of what's going on. This isn't just a Lexington. This is, it's happening in Lexington, but this is not just a Lexington event. This is a country event, and this is something in our state. And we want all the agencies, and these are three largest agencies we have in the state, to be prepared and have intimate knowledge. We'll have other agencies here for an intel being able to look at and identify people that's from their communities that are participating or not so they can go back and monitor those situations. But we'll have a lot of different agencies and intelligence agencies here that will be looking at the tactics, looking at the individuals participating and seeing where and which communities are coming from in case they have some of those sales in their community. But uh, we expect if they come in, and we have no confirmation at this time. But if they do come in, we'll have a large force uh, to hope to make sure that we have peace. That's our number one goal. Let them come in, let them say what they need to say, and send them home safely. Have there been any disturbances of any kind involving the statues over this past No, we months? haven't. You know, that's a great thing about Lexington. We've had a lot of people that didn't even know what they were stop down and try to find them and asking our officers, hey, we hear their statues, where are they? And we've had a lot of people and asking them who which is which and where are they? So we've seen that because ironically, a lot of people didn't know what they were or where they are. So we've had that, uh, but we haven't had any disturbances at all, no. And will you all have extra security on hand tonight for the council meeting? Here absolutely, absolutely. We have extra security for the council meeting. We have extra security downtown. And this is not unusual, and you all know this from Lexington, when something happens nationally, uh, we see a trend or something that may elevate risk levels, we increase our staffing all the way across the board. So we have extra officers on the street, we have extra officers at the council meeting tonight in the downtown area, and we have people, because the businesses are naturally concerned around that cheap side area, we have extra staffing for our businesses in that area. And they all have our officers' cell phone numbers, they know the officers by name, and they go in and say, this is suspicious or this is suspicious, so we can respond. Do you know how long you all will keep those officers As long as we need to, yeah, okay. yeah. There's no time limit on it.